Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You'll have to excuse what I look like. I've been out all day, feel like I haven't stopped, so that's why I look like this. Just a quick little introduction. This is going to be a... Well, I haven't decided what to call it. So it's basically decluttering my makeup collection, as well as my skincare and body products. And also reorganising my whole vanity makeup area which I've needed to do for a while and finally now Christmas is out of the way I'm gonna do it. I went to Ikea today and got some more drawers and a new tabletop so I'll show you the before and I'll show you the current state that things are in and then I'll tell you my plans for what I'm gonna do. It's quite simple really. I'm not having like a whole new vanity or anything. I'm also out of breath from running up the stairs. But yeah, you'll be able to see the whole process. And if you're like me and you love all things to do with organisation, then you'll really love this video. So make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. And don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos. So this is what my vanity currently looks like. This here is just a white table from Ikea, which I used to use as a desk. So it has four legs, obviously. However, one of the legs was faulty and I never took it back. So we used to just balance on here, it stayed up, but it wasn't really safe to use. So what I did, this set of drawers that used to go under my old vanity table, I popped it under here to help keep this up. But I never got round to taking the back leg off, or this from the other leg, which means I can't move this over. Which is why there's this gap here. And obviously less of a gap by here. I'm keeping the mirror because it's really big. I love this mirror. I've had it for ages. And I'll sort out all of this stuff on here. But the main thing I wanted to change was this. I needed to get another set of these. Because this is full of makeup. And as you can see, it's an absolute mess. So I'm also going to be sorting this out in the video. But under here in the small gap. I've been storing all of my skincare and a lot of this I had for Christmas but that basket is full and it just looks so messy I can't even put my stool under there. So what I was thinking of was removing those screws, pushing this over and putting another one here instead of those legs, just keeping the tabletop. But these are about 35 centimetres wide I think. So I don't think it would have left that much of a gap in the middle for my stool and my legs and anything I wanted to put under the desk. So I went to Ikea to get a larger tabletop. I don't have that much room here in between this and my TV. So ideally I should have got the 120 centimeter one. This is 100 centimeter. That would have just given me about this much more, more room for my legs in between the two drawers. However, I picked up the 150 centimeter one, which is in here which is very big. I think it fits in this gap. We all hope so, otherwise I've wasted my money. Also, they do the tabletops that aren't as deep as this. So this is 60 centimeters, but I love it because I have a lot of room to put stuff on, like put stuff on top for show and stuff that I need, like my makeup brushes, but it also means I have a lot of room to do my makeup. The smaller one, which came to like here, did look nice as well, but obviously it's not as much room and even though these drawers look small, they're actually very deep. As you can see, they go right back to the wall. So if these are going to stick out that much anyway, then it would be pointless getting a tabletop that only came this far. Because they come out that much anyway, might as well have one that covers the whole top. So yeah, that's the plan. Build one of these, which I picked up in Ikea. They're quite easy to build actually. Pop the tabletop on. Give everything a clean and definitely go through all of my makeup and my skincare, have a sort out. And like I said, with the tabletop, it'll be much bigger and I think it'll just look a lot more organized. So I can't wait to do it. Okay, before I attempt to tackle the drawers, I'm gonna tackle my skincare down here. I'll put all my new stuff in one pile. I'll then do a pile of my usual stuff that I like to use. And then in this basket, I'm going to put stuff that I either don't want, don't use, could go to my family. And then separate again from that, I need to put stuff that just needs binning because I can guarantee a lot of stuff in there is either old or I don't like it or maybe there's not much left of the product. Okay, this is what we're dealing with, slightly overflowing. 
Um, I honestly don't even know where to start. This is also full of stuff. And it goes under there, so wish me luck. I thought I lost these cotton pads, so I bought more. And I just found them, so that's another reason why I should go through my stuff. In this little box from b and I've got some other random bits. So I've got a used bubble bar, I'll have to use that up, can't give that to someone else because that's gross. And then this is all of my wax melt stuff. But I think I'm going to get rid of these because I just don't use them. I use normal tea lights. You can burn these by themselves and they do smell really nice but I just never burn them. I either burn a big candle or a little tea light with my wax melts. Okay, in terms of progress, I do still have a whole basket of skincare, but it's not overflowing. And it's also my body stuff and my face skincare in one. Including stuff that I don't use all throughout the year, like I said, like sun cream, after sun, insect spray, random stuff like that. And I've also kept on to a lot of mini products just for when I go on holiday. But it's looking more organised. Got rid of some of these bits kept this box because it's got my Lush bath bomb still in there. Then in this box for now I've just put all of my face masks, the used bubble bar and then razors and bits like that. So far this is what's in the basket for my family, like some creams, candles, a peel off face mask. My sister will probably have this because she loves doing face masks. This isn't as bad as I thought actually but this is just stuff that I've had for too long and I know it just wouldn't be nice to put it on my skin. So some creams, deodorant, along with some unnecessary packaging, another cotton pads. Okay, don't mind the mess, but this is what I built last night. I was literally up until like 11 o'clock doing it. And my hands are killing me because the screwdriver I had was rubbish. So I now have two of the Alex drawers for my makeup and skincare. All I actually need to do is put the little screw on the rail. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning, but it's very early and I'm very tired. I've moved my skincare out of the way, but the next job I have to do before I even attempt to reorganize my makeup and also clean the insides of the drawers, I wanna just remove everything off here. Okay, Ryan was right when we were buying this tabletop. He said it's too big. Like I was saying, mine was about 100 centimeters wide. I should have gone for the 120 because as you can see, this is 150 centimeters and I do not need that much of a gap for my legs. I know I can use it for extra storage, but it takes up a lot of room in my bedroom. The only positive though, I don't have an actual desk in my bedroom. I was using my old vanity table as a makeup station and a desk for when I do my uni work. So now I've got more room on top. I can fit my laptop, my cup of tea, as well as having all my makeup bits and not having to worry about things being all squashed together. Also, what I said about the depth, Ryan was right again. This is bigger than the other one. So what's happened is I've had to pull the Alex drawers forward, if it's going to focus, and leave a gap at the back. Otherwise this would be sort of sticking out over the top. But as much as it might be really big, I think it looks really nice. I've put my mirror up as well. And then these on top are the Ikea cutlery trays, so I use these for my makeup drawers, as you can see they're absolutely stinking. They've got all bits of my hair in them, dog hair, you name it. These ones are from my old drawers though because they were smaller so I actually had to cut them up. Not great at cutting as you can see. But yeah, I'm still going to keep these, I just need to give them a clean. So all of my makeup has gone and I emptied it into this little mini suitcase is quite overwhelming. I tried to empty it in these sections of what they were in in the drawers if that makes sense. So put the lip products here, powders here but it all sort of got mixed together. It's my own fault but either way I'm still going to have to go through it and sort it all out. And then in here I'm going to pop my skincare. I don't think I have enough drawer divider or organiser things but with a lot of my skincare 
and body products like these they're quite big so they're probably just gonna have to like lay down in the drawer anyway I'm not speaking to the camera because I look absolutely vile right now but I'm gonna go and have some food and then when I've got the energy I'm gonna come back and sort this out don't mind the ketchup on the floor but yeah it's very big as you can see luckily I have a decent sized bedroom so it doesn't look too big in here and once all of this mess is sorted and all of that's put in there I'll still have a decent floor space okay this looks like I've made more mess than what was in the case but it has some slight order to it I promise I've grouped things together so foundation and concealers bronzer blush highlights all through the middle these are my eyeshadow palettes or the bigger ones I then have eyeliners and mascaras more eyeshadow but the single ones and then mini palettes and also eyeshadow sticks this is eyebrows normal face powders and then all of this up here is lips false eyelashes and then random bits like nail polish because I don't have a lot of that as you can see I'm gonna quickly open this because it has a few products in I got this for Christmas so I'll put each thing in its pile so we've got a mascara I was actually in need of a fresh one a little eyeliner and then the tiniest little lipstick how cute is that just from looking at this on the floor I can already see a lot of things that are old and need binning so I'm gonna grab those things first and then I'll go through and pick out things that still have use in them obviously I'm not gonna sell them or anything but I can give them to like my little sister if she wants them so these are the two piles that I've made this one is stuff that needs to be chucked out this is all very old like these mascaras for example are all dried up I didn't even realize these eyeliners and brow gels all dried up all old so that's going in the bin and then this pile is stuff that still works it's still good or it's hardly been used so I'm sure my sister will appreciate this I've got two liquid lipsticks I just can't use them I don't like how they feel on my lips another liquid lipstick by sleek two highlighters which have hardly been used I've got a MAC lip liner it's too light and too much of a pinky shade to outline my lips because I like to outline them a little bit darker some little random samples I think these are actually skincare not makeup but yeah she can have those as well this is a little sleek palette a cream contour and highlight stick a little eyebrow gel and a little brow powder set which I've barely used revolution bronzer slash contour set but it also has these more shimmery ones another mini foundation nail polish a revolution lipstick and then this palette which I'm sad to be given away but I know she'll really like it and I have a lot of eyeshadow as it is so I don't need it I've got lots of these type of colours because they're my favourite so it makes no sense for me to hold on to it so yeah I'll be giving all of this to my sister and this is what we're left with I know it's still a lot but these are all of my favourite things or they're new things so I haven't even had a chance to try them yet like these little Ted Baker eyeshadow sticks and the palette and mascara that my boyfriend got for me so yeah until the next clear out this is all stuff that I love and use or I'm excited to try
as you would have seen in the time lapse i've now filled both sets of drawers so just quickly the top drawer is base makeup like primers foundations concealers and then lip balms because i put them on before doing my makeup this looks so much more empty but in a good way this next drawer is normal powder contouring stuff bronzers and highlighters we then have anything for the eyes that isn't big eyeshadow palettes so single eyeshadows mini palettes eyelashes brow stuff liquid and pencil liner pencil eyeshadows and then my mascaras this is the drawer i'm most proud of because i got rid of a lot of gross stuff lip liners lipstick lip gloss and three little lonely nail polishes in the back and then we have my eyeshadow palettes with a little travel mirror moving over to this side we have skincare this was really hard to organize because of the different shapes and all of this stuff is bigger than makeup but in the top drawer i've decided to put deodorant because it's just easy to grab from here more lip balms and then anything to do with removing makeup or cleansing so normal makeup remover i have wet wipes in the back even though i don't like using them cotton pads micellar water cleansers and toners and then more cleansers by here this second drawer is moisturizing stuff so moisturizers and a couple of little oils so these are hand creams, face moisturiser, two little oils and a travel size. A couple of new moisturisers that I got and then one of my faves, the Aveeno moisturiser. This drawer looks a bit random but I've got all of my stuff to do with candles in the back because I had nowhere else to put them. And it looks messy if I just leave it out. So my little wax melts, a sparkly little candle holder. A couple of face masks in pots and then I already showed you in here I have all of my sheet masks. And then this is a bit of a random drawer but it's mainly anything that goes on my body. From body butters to shower gels, fake tan, sun cream, stuff for the bath and a spare toothbrush. And then in the bottom drawer I've got this little makeup bag which I keep all of my travel minis in. And this is still full from when I went on holiday last year, so I'll be taking it this year as well. Little odds and ends to do with makeup or skincare. And then finally, all of my makeup bags at the back. My little one, my big zip-up one, and then these clear ones, which are really good to take in your hand luggage because it has to be clear so yeah that's pretty much everything the only job i have now is working out what i'm doing with the top just need to give everything a wipe over and then rearrange it and there we have the finished vanity like i said it's really big but i actually love how it turned out just a quick overview of the top i've got this little box from b and m i've got my little jewelry case in there my acrylic drawers from ebay with a little acrylic shelf with my perfumes on candle from Lidl my mirror which I've had for ages, it was my mum so I'm not sure where it's from my standard mirror which is what I use to actually do my makeup in I don't know what I've done here but I used the little acrylic tray and I didn't have anything to put in there so I put my fairy lights and my little flowers we've then got this shell tray which I can use to pop my sponges on when they're wet or my false eyelashes or anything like that and then we've got two pots of my makeup brushes so there we have it it's taken me a couple of days and i've destroyed the rest of my room in the process but i'm really happy with it